Hi everybody, my name's Tim and I have got a home tech challenge for you. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like to see if you can make a treasure trail around your house. But here's the difference, I'd like to see if you can make a treasure trail that uses QR codes. So your QR codes can be scanned with a phone or with a tablet and then what they will do is they will give you some writing which is the clue to find the next QR code. So I think the best way to explain this is to actually have a go ourselves. So I've already made a QR code treasure trail, so let's have a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so to start my QR code treasure hunt, what I need to do is give the QR code to the person doing the treasure hunt. And they need a phone or a tablet so that they can scan the QR code. Now, on a lot of phones, like this iPhone here, if you go to the camera, it will scan a QR code for you. There we go, it pops up and I tap it. But the problem here is that all my code, all my clue comes out here and I can't read it all. It's very, very difficult to read it. So it's much better to use a free app. So what I'm doing is I'm using a free app called Kaspersky QR Code Scanner. So we'll have um, a separate little link where you can click on it and you can see all the different apps that you could use on different devices. So I'm just going to open Kaspersky QR Code Scanner and you'll see how fast it actually is. Um, as soon as it touches it, it gives me my clue. So here's my first clue. Go to the talking picture box under the thing we like to watch. Go to the talking picture box. So what talking picture boxes have we got? I know, it's got to be a telly. A telly's a talking picture box, isn't it? So I'm going to go to the talking picture box under the thing we like to watch. So something underneath the telly. So I'm going to go find the telly and look underneath it. Okay, so here's the telly. Now, let's have a think. Um, under the thing we like to watch, well, I can't see anything here. When you're putting your codes out, don't put them anywhere that will make anybody do anything dangerous or will break anything, like pick something up. Um, under the thing we like, oh, I tapped that and it opened, that was lucky. Under the thing we like to watch. So if I look really carefully, I can see a QR code that's just hiding under this DVD player. So there we go, got my second QR code. So I'm going to scan this QR code. So I've got my app open and I'll just put my QR code in front of it and then see if it can, oh yes, there it's done it. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Um, what does that say? We always need it, everyone knows, when we turn it on, it flows. Now Poppy, what could it be? So we always need it, everyone knows, what could it be? Hmm. But when we turn it on, it flows. That's got to be water, water flows. So let's come round here then. Let's go through here and let's see. So water flows, we always need it. Everyone knows when we turn it on, it flows. So let's have a look over here. I can't see it immediately, but if I move something, <gasps> there it is. So let's give this one a scan. Right, here you'll find the tools you'll need to pull up every single weed. So I think this might be in the shed. Let's have a look. And there we are. So let's try scanning this one then. There it says, look among the leaves and spines I'm sure you'll find it in good time. So look among the leaves and spines, I'm sure you'll find it in good time. Well, I've looked all over the garden and I couldn't find anything. So I thought about leaves and spines. So what else has leaves and spines? What has leaves and... Hang on. A book has a spine and sometimes the pages are called leaves. Right, okay, oh, right, there it is. Now, I haven't got another QR code because this is my last one. So what I've done is I've made a little certificate. Now you could draw one, but what I've done is I've just printed one. 
So let's have a look at how you can make your own QR codes. Now I've gone to a website here called goqr.me and you could go to this on a phone or you could go to this on a Chromebook or you could go to it on a PC. So once I'm here, um, you can see up here I can um, put a web address in with this one but I've already on this one that says text so I can just go here and I can type in the text that I want. So I've already written out my text so I'm just going to paste it in and you'll see as soon as I do that then this changes. So if I'm on my phone what I can do is I can screenshot that and keep it but if I'm on a computer what I can do is I could copy that and then I could paste that into a Word document or I can save the image. So if I show you my Word document that I've done, I've written out QR code trail and then I've put my first clue and then I've put my answer just so that I know what it is and then I've pasted my QR code there and then so on down the page. So that's how you make a QR code, you need to go to goqr.me. So let me just show you what that looks like on a phone. So here's my phone over here and you can see that in Safari on my phone I've gone to goqr.me and if I scroll down where it says contents there I've started to type my message. So when I'm happy I just click done there and then down here there is my QR code. So what I can do with that QR code is I can do a screen capture by holding down the home button and the power button at the same time and then that saves it to a picture and that picture is in my photo gallery. So if you can't print any QR codes what you could do is you could actually save them like that and put them on your phone and then when you are doing your treasure trail just let put, put some um, post-it notes down so that people know when they've got to the right place and then what you can do is you can just show them the right QR code on your phone and they can scan it with a different phone to find the next clue. So there you are, that is how you can make your own QR code treasure trail. Now, if you look in the description to this video, there'll be a link to a document that will tell you uh, some other useful information like where to get some of the apps um, and it will go over a few other things as well. We'd love to know how you've got on with this, so if you've had a go, please leave us a comment in the comment section. Good luck!